your prosperity your riches your wealth your 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 riches is coming they will do anything and everything to stop it from coming to you because they want you to remain a servant and continuously come to them and beg and borrow from them but i came to announce to somebody tonight that within these three days that thing will be cut off you won't borrow from anybody you won't beg anybody as a matter of fact the people that you used to borrow from they will come to you and they will borrow from you the people that you used to beg they will come to you and they will beg you why because within three days god will do wonders within these three days god is going to do miracles somebody shout fire tonight god is going to speak to us prophetically and i believe that this is your word hallelujah amen joshua chapter 1 the verse number 10 and 11 if you are there you say amen if you're on your way you say god have mercy <laughs> then joshua commanded the offices of the people saying pass through the host pass through the host take note of host and command the people saying prepare you visuals for within three days somebody say within three days Somebody say within three days. Or oh, say like you mean it within three days. For within three days ye shall pass over these Jordan. To go in to possess the land. Which the Lord your God giveth you to possess it. I will repeat the verse 11 again. Pass through the host. The host there is Jordan. In other words, pass through Jordan. And command the people. Now, don't forget, this is God speaking to Joshua. Moses had just died. Joshua has taken the mantle of the leadership leading the children of the Israelites into Canaan, which is the promised land. And God was giving him this instruction. Pass through the host and command the people saying, prepare you visuals for within three days ye shall pass over this Jordan. Within these three days ye shall pass over Jordan to go into possess the land which the Lord your God giveth you to possess it. Now I want us to go to Joshua chapter 3, the verse number 5. Joshua chapter 3, the verse number 5. And Joshua said unto the people sanctify yourselves now don't forget in Joshua 1 11 God said let the people people prepare visuals Joshua 3 5 he said and Joshua said unto the people so here is Joshua speaking the previous scripture we read it was God speaking to Joshua. I need you to understand that. It was God speaking to Joshua. Here it was Joshua speaking to the people based on what God has spoken to him in Joshua 1, the verse number 10 and 11. Do you understand? 
good. And Joshua said unto the people, Sanctify yourselves, for tomorrow the Lord will do wonders among you. You will not see the magnitude of that until I start preaching. You will get it. You will catch it. Next verse. Next verse. And Joshua spoke unto the priest saying, take up the ark of the covenant and pass over before the people. Say that with me. And pass over the, before the people. Say it. Repeat that again. And pass over before the people. Repeat it again. And pass over before the people. In other words, what Joshua was telling the priest is that when you carry the Ark of the Covenant, you must go ahead of the people with the Ark of the Covenant. In other words, the people shouldn't be behind you. The Ark of the Covenant shouldn't be behind you the children of the Israelites. The Ark of the Covenant, which the priests were carrying, it should be in front, ahead of the people. Take note of that. And pass over before the people. And they took up the Ark of the Covenant and went before the people. Next verse. And the Lord said unto Joshua, this day will I begin to magnify thee in the sight of all Israel. That they may know that as I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. Amen. Next verse. And thou shalt command the priest that bear the of the covenant saying when ye are come to the brink of the water of Jordan ye shall stand still in Jordan I love it you understand ye shall stand what still. repeat that again now I want you to start from when you can look on the monitors when ye Jump to verse 11 for me. Behold, the ark of the covenant of the Lord of all the earth passeth over before you into Jordan. Next verse. Now therefore, take you twelve men out of the tribes of Israel, out of every tribe a man. And it shall come to pass as soon as the soles of the feet of the priest that bear the ark of the Lord, the Lord of all the earth shall rest in the waters of Jordan. Do you understand that? What it means is this. The priests that are carrying the Ark of the Covenant, when they get, when they are fit, get to the brink of the water, they should stay there with the Ark. No movement. They should just stay there with the Ark. The Lord of all the earth shall rest in the waters of Jordan. That the waters of Jordan shall be cut off from the waters that come down from above. Take note. The waters of Jordan will be cut off from the waters that comes from where? Which means that there were waters below and there was a water above. But God is saying, I will separate those two waters. I want you to take note of all that. 
and they shall stand upon an heap when the waters are separated and it came to pass when the people removed from their tents to pass over Jordan and the priest bearing the ark of the covenant before the people and as they that bear the ark were come unto Jordan and the feet of the priest that bear the ark were dipped in the brim of the water for Jordan overfloweth all his somebody say his, his. repeat that his. repeat it again his. it's an important word repeat it again his. 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 you will understand for Jordan overfloweth all his banks all the time of harvest. Next verse. That the waters which came down from above stood and rose up upon an heap very far from the city Adam. That is beside Zaritan. Now Adam is a city Besides Zaritan in a, a place called, in a, in, a, in a city, another bigger city called Manasseh. And those that came down toward the sea of the plain, even the salt sea, failed and were cut off. And the people passed over right against Jericho. Next verse. And the priest that bear the ark of the covenant of the Lord stood firm on dry ground in the midst of Jordan. And all the Israelites passed over on dry ground until all the people were passed clean. Were passed what? Repeat the word again. Clean. Clean. It's an important word. Repeat it again. Clean. Repeat it again. Clean. Great. Clean over Jordan. Next verse, which is the last verse. And it came to pass when all the people were clean passed over Jordan that the Lord spoke unto Joshua say we don't need to go into that the title of my message is within three days look at somebody and say within three days, within three days. or walk up to three people and tell them within three days voice of triumph God bless you you may take your seat within three days. You may be seated in the heavenly places. Oh, shout again within three days. Within three days. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that tonight also being the day four of the voice of the prophet, you will speak to us in the language that we understand. I declare an open heavens over this conference tonight. Father, let somebody under the sound of my voice that is believing you for a miracle, give them a miracle. That is believing you for an express rema word. Father, let them receive it. Anybody under the sound of my voice that is believing you for deliverance, for breakthrough, for open door for a testimony tonight. Father, give it to them. Anybody under the sound of my voice that is down, lift up their spirit by your word. Holy Spirit, now I submit to you. Spirit, soul, and body, my heart and my mind, use me to bless your people and use me to speak your word. Amen. 
let it not be me that is speaking but let it be you for I'm just a vessel as a clay in the hands of the potter, the same I am in your hands as an unclean spirit uses man to do evil possess me by your spirit and use me to do good to your people in the name of Jesus Amen. anoint my tongue in Jesus name Amen. Amen. Somebody say within three days. days. Somebody say within three days. days. Shout it again within three days. days. What I'm trying to tell you is this. Just as Joshua told the children of the Israelites that within three days, he said, they should prepare themselves. They should prepare themselves. In other words, they should get ready for what is about to happen. They should be ready. They shouldn't be overtaken by astonishment, by, by amazement. They shouldn't be over, overtaken by surprise. They should get ready for this wonder. They should get ready for this miracle. They should get ready for this breakthrough. Now, I want to tell you tonight, here under the sound of my voice, and those that are watching me, wherever you are watching me from, I am giving you a prophetic word from above that within three days, God is going to do wonders in your life and in every aspect of your life. I want to say it again. Within three days, in 72 hours, God is going to do something in your life that he has never done before. Within 72 hours, within three days, that thing that you have prayed for, that thing that you have petitioned God for, that thing that you have requested of the Lord, within three days, that thing will, will come into your hand. That door you are believing God for to open. I prophesy to you that within three days, that door will open. I pray for you that within three days, that prophecy that has been hanging in the air for all these years and for all this month, I declare over you that within three days, you will see the tangibility. You will see the physicality. You will see the manifestation of that prophecy within three days. Somebody shout within three days. Within three, within three days. days. Just as Jesus was buried on the third day he resurrected and had triumph and victory over death. The same thing I speak to you prophetically that within three days anything that is dead in your life is going to come alive. I said he's going to come alive. Anything that is dead I command resurrection power to hit that in the name of Jesus within three days relationships will come alive within three days marriages will come alive within three days businesses will come alive within three days some of you you are about to have contracts within three days God will silence your enemies within three days the man is going to propose within three days you are going to see restoration you are going to see restitution within three days there is going to be a divine turn around there is going to be a supernatural turn around within three days God will exalt your horn like the horn of the unicorn within three days God will cause you to rule in the midst of your enemies within three days God is going to show wonders he's going to show miracles he's going to give you testimony is going to lift you beyond and above your peers your colleagues and your contemporaries somebody shout within three days, within three days. you may be seated yes. and so God spoke to Joshua in Joshua chapter 1 the verse number 10 and 11 that he should get the people ready because within three days 
they are going to possess the land. Now, what land is God talking about? Don't forget, whilst the children of the Israelites were in the Egyptian captivity and God raised Moses, God promised the children of the Israelites that he was taking them to a land that flows with milk and honey. Now God has taken them out of the Egyptian captivity. They were in the wilderness on their way to the promised land. Whilst they were on their way in the wilderness to the promised land, they are leader, they are head. Moses had died. And then his armor bearer, his assistant, his mentee, took over from him. And the Lord spoke to Joshua and told Joshua, prepare these people. You have been in this wilderness for 40 years. But within three days, you will enter into this land that I have promised you. In other words, you have received this prophecy 40 years ago. Just like some of you, you have received a prophetic word. You have been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and you are wondering when will the prophecy come to pass? And God said, Joshua, get the people ready. Because this prophecy that I gave you is about to come to pass. Look at somebody and tell the person, my prophecy is about to come to pass. So God said, within three days, what I prophesied to you and told you 40 years is going to come to pass. Get the people ready to possess the land. Listen to me very carefully. I am speaking to you prophetically. Just as God spoke to Joshua and said, within three days you will possess the land. I am speaking to you prophetically that within three days, that promise you will possess it. You didn't hear what I said. I said within three days, that promise you will possess it. The prayer you have prayed, what you have asked the Lord, what you have petitioned the Lord, within three days, you will see it come to pass. Listen to me if you are here. If it is contract that you have asked the Lord, within three days, that contract will come to your hands. Listen, if it is clients you want, within three days, there is going to be multitudes of clients coming to you. Listen to me, within three days, the same company, the same organization that interviewed you and they refuse, they refuse you, that same company, I am prophesying, within three days, that same company is going to call you and say, do you still want the job? Because the position is available. I am prophesying to you within three days. I said within three days. That financial breakthrough, that money that you have been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for. I am telling you that within three days, that money is going to come into your hands. Not just coming into your hands, but it will come into your hands with interest. It will come into your hands with interest because within three days God said I will do wonders I will do wonders within three days I will show you my mighty hand within three days I will show you my power I will show you my splendor I will show you that I am the God of all the earth and I'm the God of all the heavens and I have the whole world in the palms of my hands he said within three days whatever you have desired whatever you have wished the things you have asked me and the things you didn't ask me within these three days I am going to put it in your hands oh God is saying within three days I will put it in your hands those that want you destroyed they will be destroyed in three days 
your enemies that are opposing, resisting, contending, fighting with you concerning your miracles, your wonders, and your breakthrough and your favor. Within these three days, uh, they will leave you alone. If they don't leave you alone, they will die within three days. Uh, somebody shout within three days. 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 Somebody shout fire. fire. You may be seated. And so God said, prepare the people. He prepared the people. Now, for them to possess the land, they must pass through Jordan. And Jordan was a hindrance. Jordan was a stumbling block. Jordan would not allow them to come into the promised land or possess the promised land. Jordan was contending with the manifestation of their prophecy. There are some of you under the sound of my voice. Jordan is contending with your destiny. Jordan is contending with your glory. Jordan is contending with your marriage. Jordan is contending with your health. Jordan is contending with your career. But God is saying that whether there is Jordan or not, and whatever Jordan that is opposing, resisting you, whatever Jordan that has withstood you over the years, I'm going to cause Jordan to depart. I said, God said, I'm going to cause Jordan to depart. Oh, I've not got into the call. Let me be breaking it down for you. So, Jordan was in front of them to possess the land. They must pass through Jordan. And let me tell you why Jordan was a big issue. Because the children of the Israelites that have been delivered out of the Egyptian captivity, they are three million. Three million. Three million Jews that have come out of Egypt. Children. Elderly people. Old age people. They are some, they have never seen water like that before. They don't know how to swim. There were pregnant women. Heavily pregnant. There were all kinds of people. But all the people must enter Jordan. How are they going to pass through Jordan? Because some of them are just little babies. Don't forget, some of them were giving birth in the wilderness. And probably at the time that God spoke to Joshua, about hundreds just had a baby. So how do they pass through Jordan? Jordan was a big problem. It was a big issue. It was an hindrance, a stumbling block for them. I want to show you something. You remember I told you you should say his. Project that scripture for me. I believe. Okay. And as they. And as they that bear the ark. Were come unto Jordan. And the feet of the priest. That bear the ark. Were dipped in the brim of the water. Is it this? For Jordan overfloweth. Yes. All his banks. All the time of the harvest. Listen to me carefully. The Bible shouldn't use his for the river. It should use it. If the Bible used his for the river, it means that Jordan was in water. It was a human being. A principality called Jordan withstood them and said, you, you won't enter. Physically, it was water. But spiritually, there was a man that was behind the water. Making sure that they don't cross it. Who is the man? Who is the woman that has withstood you and saying you won't cross? Who is that man? Who is that 
principality? Who, who is that power? Who is that entity? Who is that deity that has vowed and sworn to himself or herself or to the devil that he or she is going to make sure that you don't come into your promise? I am announcing to that human being or that spirit that within three days, if you don't leave the people of God alone and they are miracle and they are breakthrough for them to possess their land and for them to see the manifestation of their prophecy, I declare that you would die. Jordan said, I'm not going to let you come into your possession. You won't cross me. And I'm the only way through which you could pass to get into that promise and into that manifestation. But I'm not going to allow you to cross it. The opposition was strong. You see, anytime God promises you, Anytime you receive a prophetic word, anytime God says that I'm going to do something great, notable, I am going to do wonders in your life, that is when principalities and powers rises up against you. That is when human beings rises up against you. That is when agents of the devil opposes you, resists you. Why? Because of the prophecy. Because of the manifestation of the prophecy. Because of the miracle. Because of the breakthrough. Because of the wonder. Because they know if you come into your manifestation your life can never be the same again. They know if you come into your possession your life will be revolutionized. The people you used to beg, you won't beg them any longer. They will beg you. And, and you know what? The people you beg they want you to always come to them yes. and beg them. Yes. The people you borrow from, they don't want you to have. They want you all the time to come to them and come and borrow. And so when they hear that your season is coming, your breakthrough is coming, your elevation is coming, your prosperity, your riches, your wealth, your your, 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 your riches is coming. They will do anything and everything to stop it from coming to you because they want you to remain a servant and continuously come to them and beg and borrow from them. But I came to announce to somebody tonight that within these three days, that thing will be cut off. You won't borrow from anybody. You won't beg anybody. As a matter of fact, the people that you used to borrow from, they will come to you and they will borrow from you. The people that you used to beg, they will come to you and they will beg you. Why? Because within three days, God will do wonders. Within these three days, God is going to do miracles. Somebody shout fire. You may be seated. that. Jordan was opposing them. Jordan will not allow them to come into their promise. And God said, I have a strategy for you, Jordan. I have a strategy. What was the strategy? And the Bible says that, and God spoke to Joshua and said, tell the priest, let them carry the ark of the covenant. And this is how the Bible described it. The ark of the covenant of all the earth not a portion of it the ark of the covenant of all the earth listen to me very carefully the reason why God told Joshua that tell the priest to carry the ark of the covenant and make sure that the priests that are carrying the covenant they don't stay among the people or stay behind the people but they should stay in front they should go ahead of the people so that the people will follow now listen to me the ark of the covenant it represents the presence of god the ark of the covenant it represents the glory of god so what god was telling joshua is this 
let my presence and my glory go ahead of the people. Behold, the ark of the covenant of the Lord of all the earth passeth over before you into Jordan. Let my presence go ahead of you. Let my glory go ahead of you. If my glory goes ahead of you and my presence go ahead of you, Jordan will not be able to stop you. Listen to me. What is preventing you from crushing Jordan? The principality, the power, the entity behind Jordan that is hindering and blocking you from coming into your possession is because you have refused to carry the presence. The devil cannot withstand the presence of God. When you are a container of the glory of God. When you are a reservoir of the glory and of the power. And of the presence of God. Demons cannot touch you. The powers of darkness cannot prevent you. They cannot hinder you. They cannot interfere with your destiny. They cannot be an obstruction into your breakthrough and into your miracle. So God said. Let the presence of God go ahead of you. And let the people follow. Now, the presence of God is like God himself going ahead. Because if it is his presence, the ark of the covenant is the presence of God. God must be there for his presence to be felt. And so what God was saying is this. Allow me to go ahead of you. <laughs> the reason why you have not yet entered into the promise and you have not seen the wonders of God and the power of God and the miracles and the goodness of God and you have not seen the pr prophecy come to pass is because you are making men go ahead of you. You are depending on your connections, contacts, who you know come into your possession but when you put your hope and your faith in man you will be disappointed why because man is a liar yeah. Yeah. that is why the bible says god is not a man that he should lie if god says that i am not a man that i should lie it means that men lie they will promise you today they will disappoint you today <laughs> they will open the door for you today. They will close it today. Today they are with you. The same day they will be against you. Today they are your friend. The same day they will become your enemy. Instead of us allowing God and his presence and his glory and his power to go ahead of us to precede us into our miracle and our breakthrough, we are depending on connections and contact and we are talking to people in high places and it is not happening. Listen, when you depend on man, you will fail. The Bible says that horses and chariots are prepared for battle but the victory comes from him it doesn't matter what contact you have it doesn't matter what connection you have it doesn't matter who you know if God doesn't open the door for you they cannot open it they cannot they don't have the power they don't have the ability to open the door if God has not opened it because don't forget the door that you are believing God for to be open, he himself is the door. If he doesn't open you, nobody can open because he's the only one that has the key. And the key is a master key. You can't duplicate it. He said, let me go ahead of you. He said, let the priest with the Ark of the Covenant, go ahead of the people and let the people follow. In other words, 
this prophecy must come to pass. The three days that I have told you, I must make this thing happen within those three days that you will come into Canaan, into the land that flows with milk and honey. So this is the other reason why God said, let the ark of the covenant go ahead of the people. In other words, if Jordan is going to fight you, he must fight me first. <laughs> if Jordan is going to kill you, he must kill me first. <laughs> if Jordan is going to destroy you, he must destroy me first. And I'm indestructible. <laughs> I created death and I also created life. Jesus said, I have the power. Man, this man is too much. Sometimes I like the way he speaks. Me, I, I love people who speak with authority, with, with boldness, and when they speak, they know what they are talking about. He said, I have the power to lay down my life. I have it also to take it back. He looked at Pilate. When Pilate said, perform a miracle, defend yourself. I have the power to release. We said, hey, who told you that? Who told you you have the power to release me? The only reason why I'm standing in front of you and you telling me all this nonsense is because my father has given you that power. Before you will kill any of my sons and daughters, God is saying, kill me first. Because within three days, I am bringing my servants into their promise. Yes, Listen to me. In 78, 72 hours, from this very time and from this very moment, get ready. A miracle will hit you that have never hit you before. You will enter into a door that you have never entered before. God is speaking on your behalf now. Angels are working for you now as I'm speaking to you right now. Within these three days, what you are afraid of will be afraid of you. Within three days, those who wrote you off will write you in. Within these three days, those who despise you, they will be looking for you. They will be seeking for you. They will be searching for you. Somebody shout fire. fire. You may be seated. And so the priest with the ark went ahead of the children of the Israelites. And the instruction is this. When they get to the brain of the Jordan River and they are fit Cheese the water. In other words, they don't need to get into it fully, just at the brink. When they dip their feet in that water, they should stand still. And as they that bear the ark were come unto Jordan, and the feet of the priest that bear the ark were dipped in the brim of the water, for Jordan overfloweth all his banks all the time of the harvest. Now listen to me very, very carefully. One, God said, when they dip their feet in the water, they shouldn't move again. And he was talking about the priest who were carrying the ark of the covenant. They should just stay there and stand still. Now, the Bible says that the Jordan was overflowing its banks. Why? Because the time that God instructed them to pass through Jordan into the promise, it is a snowy time. And it is at the time that all the snows melt. And as a result of that, all the rivers overflow its banks not just jordan river but also the the the, the sea the 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 the, the, um, the dead sea the salt sea also overflow its banks 
And so during that time, that is the time that the city of Jericho relieth on for their irrigation. Not only that, but to get water, to preserve, to reserve water so that they can have some drinkable water. And during that time, they shut their gates because of the overflowing of the waters. So, God said, enter, dip your feet. When you dip your feet, you stay there. Stand still. In other words, let my presence defile any other presence that is there. Let my presence neutralize the power of the Jordan River that is preventing you from coming into your promise. When you are a carrier of the presence of God, you can even enter into witchcraft COVID and they will not be able to function. <laughs> I remember many years ago, I, I, I was 15 and just crazy about God because this conversion, it, it happened very early. My first public message where I stood in front of people a lot of people, about 500 students, and preached. I was 14 when I preached. Now, I used to go into this school at night, and I would just pray for hours. And then a group of us, who were about six of us, the same age group, we will meet at this place and we will be praying we were on fire for God. One day, I was supposed to be leading the prayer because we have like it gets to tent. So it was my turn to lead the prayer. At this very moment, this prayer meeting has grown because we have been evangelizing and witnessing to our mates to come to the saving knowledge of Christ. And we tell them about the prayer meeting and everything. And so we had so many people who were part of this prayer meeting. On this faithful day, a witch joined us. And I was the one leading the prayer. So we started the prayer. When we started the prayer, and usually we will form a circle, and the person that is leading the prayer will stand in the middle of the circle. So I was standing in the middle of the circle. And then we started praying. And then when we started praying, within five minutes, the young girl started manifesting and behaving very violently. So, I told the others that they want to run. I said, no, stay there. So, me, I was very fascinated about what is happening because I have never had that encounter and experience personally before. I have not even seen it in church before because at that time, I was going to Presby, Presbyterian Church, and I was causing so much commotion at Presbyterian Church because they can't handle me. They will tell me, don't do evangelism. Focus on your books. I will go to evangelism, bring people to church. They said, don't pray. Focus on your education. I will pray. They will call me in front Sunday. Do you, have you been to Orthodox Church? Sundays is pack jammed. It was pack jammed. They call me to the front. They said, there is this young guy, very stubborn, who doesn't respect we have said everything. He won't listen. And they mentioned my name. And there were other friends who prayed with me that were there. They, they told me, Raph, sit down. You are not going anywhere. Sit. Let them say whatever they want to say. I stood up. I walked. Boom, boom, boom. I stood in front. They disgraced me very well. Everybody came to a conclusion that that is my last day in the church. The following day, I was in church. <laughs> I was coming to... They, hey, I'm telling you, they, they, the leadership didn't know what to do with me until I became their friend. They didn't know what to do with me. They tried to sack me. I, I couldn't be sacked. And I've not seen this thing 
in the Presby Church at that time. I did, I've not seen the manifestation of all those things before. So when I saw it, I was very fascinated. I said, please don't run, let's deal with this. And then I said, who are you? Where are you coming from? Who is your boss? Who sent you? He, the lady looked at me and said, because you are here, they cannot come. I said, let them come. Let them come and rescue you. She said, no. If you are here, they cannot come and rescue me. I said, why? He said, your presence will not allow them to come and rescue me. Listen to me. When you are a carrier of the presence and of the power of God, demon spirits cannot be around you. Evil spirits cannot be around you. Demonic powers cannot be around you because you are a container of the presence of God. And so that is why God said to the, to the priest who were carrying the ark that stay in the river. Stay there. In other words, maintain my presence. Maintain. Maintain my presence in the river and let the people pass. And so they stood still with the ark. And the people that were behind started passing. But wait, before the people will pass, because they have dipped their feet in the water and they stood still, the presence of God parted the water. So the Bible says that the water became a heap. In other words, the water stood up like a wall. Joshua 3.16 That the waters which came down from above stood. The water was standing. As if it had legs. Stood. Couldn't lie. Stood. The water stood. Why did the water stood? Because of the presence that entered into the water. In other words, the presence was saying, I don't care about your presence, you Jordan. You must oblige to my demands. The water stood on every side. And the water didn't just stood. They didn't pass through muddy waters. The ground was very dry. We read it. Dry extremely dry. That is why the Bible says they were what? Clean. Which means they weren't wet. And the priest that bear the ark of the covenant of the Lord stood firm on dry ground. Don't forget when they entered, they entered the brim of the water, which means that the water was under their feet. But when they stood, the waters disappeared. The ground became dry and so they were standing on the dry ground in the Jordan River in the midst of it I am talking about the power of God the power of God within these three days you will see the power of God you will see the presence of God you will see the glory of God let me tell you, the way God is going to manifest himself to you, you have never had such an encounter before. <laughs> he says, son, daughter, don't fret. I am in charge. Don't be worried. I am in charge. Don't be troubled. I am in charge. I will take care of whatever that is trying to stop you. I, I will take care of it. They stood in the river. The river parted, stood. The waters stood. The children of the Israelites, each and every one of them, walked through the Jordan River on a dry ground. Dry ground. They crossed over. And when they crossed over, now the priests who were carrying the ark started walking. And they crossed. And when they crossed, the water came back together. They had another experience 
of Red Sea. Listen. When God says that he will bless you, no power can stop it. When God says that he will lift you, no human being can stop it. Why are you afraid that you will die? The reason why you will not die is because the prophecy must come to pass. And until it comes to pass, you ain't going anywhere. Within three days, there are some of you, you have been having sleepless nights and crying and weeping and saying, God, God, when will this shame be over? God, when will this adversity end? When will this trouble end? God is saying, give me three days. Give me three days. Give me 72 hours. You will see my glory. You will see my power. You will see my goodness. I will come down from the heaven. I will rent the heavens because of you. Because the prophecy, what I have said and what I have spoken and what I have promised you and what have been written of you, it must come to pass. I must prove to your enemies that I am not dead, I am alive. I must prove to your enemies that I am a great God. I am a glorious God and there is none like me and there will never be any like me. I am the God of all flesh and I'm also the God of all spirit. I don't know who I came to talk to. I don't know who I came to speak to. It might not be everybody but I came to speak to one person. That one person that is desperate for a miracle. That one person that is sick and tired of being sick and tired. That one person that is saying that I can no longer handle it. I can no longer bear it. I can no longer carry it. I am tired of this situation. I am tired of this storm. I am tired of this adversity. I am tired of this challenge. I am tired of this warfare. I am tired of this battle. I am telling that individual that God is saying that within three days, within three days, within three days, just as I promised the children of the Israelite that within three days, they will possess their land. The same thing within three days, I will give you deliverance. Within three days, I will move you from generational curse to transgenerational blessings. Within three days, what you have lost, I will make you recover everything. Within three days, that which the cankerworm has eaten, that which the palmerworm has eaten, that which the locust has eaten, I am going to give you restoration. I am going to give you restoration. Those who have spoken against you, they will swallow their own words. Those who want to curse you from today, when they open their mouth to curse you, blessings will come out of their mouth. I don't know who I came to talk to, but within three days, the glory of God will overtake you. The glory of God will overshadow you. I don't know who I am talking to, but you are coming, you are coming, you are coming, you are coming out. You are coming out of the pain. You are coming out of the disappointment. You are coming out of the denial. You are coming out of the rejection. You are coming out of poverty. You are coming out of shame. You are coming out of sickness. You are coming out of disease. You are coming out of the shame and the reproach. You are coming out. Somebody shout, I am coming out. Somebody shout, I am coming out. Somebody shout, I am coming out. They are voodoo cannot stop you. They are psychic powers cannot stop you. They are witchcraft cannot stop you. They are manipulation cannot stop you. They are spells cannot stop you. They are witcher bots cannot stop you. They are divination and sorceries cannot stop you. They are I don't know who I came to talk to. Within three days, within three days, your crown will come upon your head. I, 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 I,
your crown will come upon your head within three days your battle is over within three days your warfare is over somebody shout three days somebody shout three days the company that suck you they will be looking for you i said they will be looking for you they will say we don't know what happened you are our best you are our best you are our best you are our best there is somebody here you have been working with this company you have been working with this organization when it is time for promotion they bypass you and they give the promotion to somebody else but what god is saying is this within these three days you will receive your promotion I said you will receive your promotion. You have been at this level for far too long. You are moving to the next dimension. You are moving to the next level. You have seen this blessing. But God is about to show you greater blessing. Within three days, he is going to make you greater and exceedingly greater. Those who look down on you, they will look up onto you. Somebody shout fire. Somebody shout fire. I don't know who I came to talk to. When the witches gather within these 72 hours, they will not be able to function. They will not be able to operate. When they mention your name, Jesus will show up. When they mention your name, thunder will strike them. When they mention your name, lightnings will strike them. Because within these three days, God is saying, you will possess the land. You will possess the promise. That business is giving it to you. That marriage has been released. That glory has been released. That money you are waiting for, it is yours. Take it. I said, take it. I said, take it. I said, take it. You have been working with this company for so long. You have not experienced a race. But within three days, they will triple. I said, they will triple your pay. Somebody shout, I receive it. Listen to me. You will get promotions that you are not qualified for. Why? Because it is your time. Why? Because it is your season. Those who said you will not carry your baby, you will carry. I said you will carry your baby. I said you will carry your baby. Not just baby, babies. Oh, somebody say babies. Somebody say babies. Those who look at you very funny because you are single. When you talk to any man, they suspect you. She want to take my husband. You are holy. You fear God. But because you are single, you have become a ridicule for people. People make a mockery and they scorn at you. They should watch out. The next time you are coming to church, your husband will be beside you. Somebody shout fire. It is going to happen so quick. It's going to happen so fast. I said three days. Somebody shout three days. Somebody shout three days. Somebody shout three days. The man will see you. The man will say, I don't need to date you. When I saw you, the Lord told me you are the one. I've been having dreams about you. I have been seeing visions about you. I've been asking the Lord, when will I meet this woman? I never thought I would meet you. Please, will you marry me? Why? Because what God has promised, what God has said concerning you, it must come to pass. It must come to pass. Within three days. Somebody shout within three days. Oh, somebody shout within three days. Within three days, your story will change. Within three days, your story will completely change. You will not have a tragic ending. You will have a beautiful ending. The last time you missed it, but you will not miss it this time. 
the last time you lost it but this time you won't lose it before you were looking for the miracle but within these three days the miracle will be looking for you before you were looking for the breakthrough but listen to me in 72 hours the breakthrough will be looking for you ay 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 Mataka bahali asuka mahanta reka bahali asaka bahaya. Somebody is coming into his or her rest. Amen. You have been battling, you have been worrying, but you are coming into your rest, into your rest, into your rest. You are coming. You are coming. You are coming into your rest. You are coming into your rest. You are coming into your rest. I hear the Lord telling me clearly. He said, tell them they are coming into their rest. I am giving them rest. I'm giving them rest. Rest, 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 rest. Rest on every side. I am giving them rest. Oh, somebody begin to pray now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray right now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. No, no, don't pray in the micro. I want to hear them. Open your mouth. Begin to pray. Please open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth. Pray. I want to hear you. I want to hear you. If you want to pray in the Holy Ghost, pray in the Holy Ghost. If you want to pray, you understand it. Pray in your understanding. Because within these three days, within these three days, within these three days, 72 hours. 72 hours you will see the wonders of God 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 you will see the power of God within three days miracles testimonies healings yes God will give you justice God will give you justice the, 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 the case at the court is being dismissed now the court case is being dismissed the judge is throwing it out of the window for your favor 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 oh yes lord yes lord yes lord thank you for watching this message for more information about this message or the ministry, call us at 770 or visit us online at eagleschapel.com.